So I've made up my mind that last week's episode of Clone Wars was probably my favorite episode of the entire Clone Wars series. I thought about it a lot during the week, and uh, I think it was. Um, also, I want to say that right after I uploaded my review, I saw that Ray Park actually did the mocap for Darth Maul, and then I saw the footage of him actually doing it, which is available online. You can see Darth Maul, uh, I'm sorry, Ray Park doing the Maul um, mocap, which is really impressive. Uh, and that was, of course, part two of this four-part finale for Clone Wars. So here we are, part three, which is episode 11 of Clone Wars, season seven. One more episode coming out on May the 4th, and that's going to be the finale of the entire series. A little bit bittersweet. Um, this episode, of course, does take place during the ep- during episode three, you know, Revenge of the Sith. And um, it's, you know, one thing I will say about this episode, right? that they did right is that they managed to capture quite perfectly for an anime series the tone and the feel of Revenge of the Sith. If you remember Revenge of the Sith from when Anakin turns or right before he turns and that whole scene where he finds out that Palpatine is Darth Sidious and that whole like sort of dark and somber moment where he's looking out the window and Padme's there and then of course the turn happens and then the rest of the movie is just one big depressing moment. Uh, over and over again, this episode captured that. They took actual music uh, cues from John Williams, added some stuff here and there. You know, this episode, Order 66 happens in this episode, uh, a few minutes into it, and it really captured that depressing, somber feeling of the galaxy is is no longer a republic. It's becoming an empire now, and, you know, the... Episode kind of builds up really slow. The first half of it is very, very slow. Um, obviously, Darth Maul was captured last week. Uh, and then this week's episode, he's in this giant, like, you know, sort of gray box, like a prison for him. And what ends up happening is Ahsoka is on a ship. And she's she's in light speed, in hyperspace, trying to take Maul back and turn him into the Jedi Order. And before that, actually, I want to talk about one other scene. You know, they did this really clever thing where there's a scene in Revenge of the Sith where Mace Windu says, you know, I sent the plot to destroy the Jedi. And he's having a conversation with Yoda and other Jedi. They redid that scene in this episode. Like, they literally took it out of that movie and put it back in this episode. But they added an extra scene afterward where, you know, in the movie version, it cuts off and we just go to the next scene. Whereas here, Ahsoka Tano walks in and has a conversation with Mace Windu and with Yoda. That was really clever, really well done. And that's what I wanted from this episode, how they have stuff from the movie that happens and Ahsoka interacts with it. Yes, it is a retcon, obviously, because that wasn't the original plan when Lucas wrote this movie. He had no idea who Ahsoka Tano was back in 2005 or whatever when the movie came out. But it's very clever how they were able to work that in, you know, like Lion King one and a half. You know, that was cool. But so Ahsoka has the, uh, you know, Ahsoka's on the ship heading back to the Republic. And then Order 66 happens. And the way it's done was really, really clever because... They actually took sound bites from the Mace Windu, Anakin, Palpatine showdown where, you know, Anakin cuts off his arm and then Palpatine shouts unlimited power and fires him out the window with the lightning. They took snippets from all of that, you know, and Ahsoka could feel it. And she's like, Anakin, Anakin. So she does not know for sure what happened with Anakin. Obviously, in Star Wars Rebels, she finds out more about this Lord Vader and eventually figures out that it is Anakin, but... You know, here, she says that something bad happened with Anakin, and she doesn't really know what, and it's kind of a mystery. But then what ends up happening is Order 66, is ha- you know, it happens. And then, you know, Sidious is contacting Rex and the rest of the uh, clones to turn on Ahsoka, which does happen. She has to fight them off. But the plot of the second half of the episode was we have to save Rex because Rex is her friend, and she doesn't know why Rex betrayed her. But also, as Rex was... um turning right he was able to control himself for a second so there's still hope in that and then she finds out by going through some documentation and things like that about the inhibitor chips and this goes back to an episode this is really well done by the way storytelling wise this episode was fantastic goes back to an episode in season five about the clones uh and the inhibitor chip malfunctioning i think it's one of the earlier episodes of season five no i'm sorry season six 
It was one of the early episodes of season six, and uh, it talks about the inhibitor chip and that one clone that kind of went mad. So Ahsoka finds out about the inhibitor chip, and this is the chip, of course, that's implanted in the clones to essentially mind control them. It's kind of like a Manchurian candidate. Um, you know, it's a code word that which is order 66 and when you say it the clones are programmed to kill like obviously lucas got the idea from the manchurian candidate if you've never seen the manchurian candidate or read the book it's basically a a story about a guy who i think it was the cia or whatever like brainwash him to where they say a word and then he, he he commits a crime like he his brain snaps and he kills somebody that's essentially where lucas got the idea from so in the episode that happens, and the whole story is that she takes Rex and kind of quasi kidnaps him and puts him in this like infirmary so that he can be worked on, and then they um, take out the inhibitor chip, and then he ends up saving her at the end. So that was really well done. But before that happens, she saves Maul, and you know Maul talks about how you know my master, which is of course Palpatine Sidious, never told him the entire plan, but now she knows that the Jedi. Now he knows that the Jedi's army has turned against them. And it's just really, really, you know, the way that the tension was built up in the first half was really well done, really slow, really, you know, brooding sort of feeling. You know what I'm saying? And then the second half was pretty much all action. There's a really awesome scene with Maul in a hallway fighting off the clone troopers. They're firing at him and he's using these doors as like shields to like block it. Remember, he does not have his lightsaber. So he's using the force to like block these things. It was so awesome. He's just chewing through these guys. He's throwing the doors, cutting them in half. Their arms getting cut off. Like, bro, I loved it. I loved it. And then we have the scene where Ahsoka has her lightsabers and she's like getting ready to fight because she's in the infirmary with Rex. Um, She's trying to get the inhibitor chip out, which ends up, it does end up happening. And then he ends up saving her when the clones bust in. So the cliffhanger is pretty much, the clones are about to bust in again and the episode ends right there. That's the cliffhanger. So, uh, oh man, we are in the middle of Order 66 and the next episode of Clone Wars is the finale. This is it, May 4th, May the 4th. And it's going to be... Probably more of the, you know, more of the, uh, and by the way, I don't even know if it's a half hour long, it might be longer than that, but it's probably going to be more of the, the, the end of the Jedi, you know, the Jedi purge, probably more, a little bit of Anakin stuff possibly, but not too much. We might see Vader in the episode for all we know, um, but the main story of the next episode is going to be how the hell is Maul and Ahsoka and... Rex going to escape this and of course Rex goes into hiding and Ahsoka kind of does too and actually Maul does as well so uh, while the Jedi are being destroyed they do survive and we know that for a fact because of Rebels that's a fact so I, I just wonder what the story is going to be as far as why Ahsoka never decided to go look for Anakin I mean she definitely I didn't read the Ahsoka book so maybe I'm missing out on something somebody told me there was a plot hole there that contradicts the Clone Wars, I, I don't know about that because I haven't read the book yet, but I am curious if they're going to address that if she, you know, does end up trying to look for Anakin. And also, of course, Maul continues his, um, you know, he continues his kind of underworld dealings as we saw in the solo film. And, uh, of course, he comes back in Rebels and, you know, we have that whole thing with Ezra and all that. They they reincorporated the characters back in with Rebels. Uh, most, actually, all these characters. But, um... It's interesting because this sort of Clone Wars, these episodes are like an interquel, you know. Uh, We know what happens with Maul, Rex, and Ahsoka, or at least up until, you know, Rebels and even Return of the Jedi as we saw. But, um, you know, it's after the Clone Wars, like the previous six seasons. So it's like Filoni has to figure out how to make all this fit. And it's going to be a little bit easier than I thought it would be because I figure it would be a challenge because of how much stuff happens. But so far, it's working out. So if there are any plot holes, leave a comment down below and let me know. Because I haven't caught any yet. But I am worried about that because there's a possibility there could end up being more. So, okay. Um, that's going to do it for my review. Check out the episode, of course, if you have it. I'm sure most of you have. Really enjoyed it. Uh, it felt like a movie. Obviously, last week's episode was still a little bit higher because of the Ahsoka Mall stuff, which is so fantastic. This week's, however, was just incredibly badass, the second half, and some big moments, big, big moments in Star Wars history, and Ahsoka sort of, 
you know, perspective of it. I was kind of hoping for more. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more of like a vision of the galaxy, how it's going. But we kind of saw that in the movie. But I still feel like it would be better if we saw that here as well. So I'm curious to see what they're going to put in the next episode. We'll find out. Thank you. Have a great day. And let me know what you thought about Star Wars The Clone Wars Episode 11 of Season 7. And we'll talk soon.